Okay guys, let's get started. You guys were wanting a video on uh, UGE and Triple IT Hyderabad. So here I'll be presenting my screen now. So first we'll start with talking about the various ways in which you can get into Triple IT Hyderabad and uh, like how to do that and all. We'll be we'll be dealing with every aspect uh, later on. I'll be talking more about UGE. <laughs> See, uh, so there are various ways in which you can get into Triple IT Hyderabad. The most common way is obviously J mains, and uh, the second most common way is UGE nowadays. Uh, the other ways are uh, like SPEC. It includes people who are uh, who are like not that well off and who lie under the dire scheme of uh, by the government. So you can take take an admission by the scheme. Uh, then LEE is for those who are currently in their second year and want to pursue their, uh, want to change college and want to pursue their uh, further studies in IIIT Hyderabad. So you can apply for this. This is a channel which is uh, for Olympiad and KVP by students. Olympiads like NACC, NACP. Now DASA is for students who have studied uh, like who are ISA, who are international students. So you can, you guys can apply through this. In this video, I'll be talking about UGE. The J mains part is pretty obvious. So if you if you have under one thousand rank, you can easily get CS at Triple IIT Hyderabad. And uh, you, I was get my rank was three thousand fourteen, right? So I was getting ECE uh, in Triple IIT Hyderabad, but I didn't choose that obviously uh, because I wanted CS. And uh, yeah, so J mains thing is pretty simple. If you are under three thousand five hundred or four thousand rank, you will get admitted to Triple IIT Hyderabad uh, easily. Yeah, so let's st start talking about UGE. Fine, like, I'll start with explaining the boring part first. I'll I'll try to go go through it very fast. So okay, so you guys already know about uh, UGE. You guys already have done all this. So admit cards will be available from fifteen June. That's what they have claimed, and the exam like, entrance exam will be from twenty fourth June. Uh, this might change, but as of now, it, it is this only. So just just plan according to this these dates. Then the paper pattern. I am pretty sure if you are preparing for UGE seriously, you would already know this that it consists of two papers, which is super, which is subject proficiency test, and you have to do it in one hour. Second one is REAP, so and that is research aptitude test, and it it, it and you have to solve it in two hours. So you have it, it's a three hour paper in in total. How many students are selected? Now you Triple IIT Hyderabad does not disclose the numbers, but uh, what I felt when I went for the interview was there are around there were around two hundred to three hundred people there, like totally, and it was conducted uh, in in two days, like in, in a span of two days. So I'm I'm sure that there would be around two hundred to three hundred people after the first round that will get selected, and finally they select around sixty to seventy people like for for the for getting admitted to Triple IIT Hyderabad. Or I guess hundred. I think it has increased to hundred. There is nothing like not a like reliable source. It was uh, like I checked the internet. There were a lot of numbers out there. But don't worry about that. But just just try to maximize your score, and I'm sure you'll get uh, selected. <laughs> Just check out the description. I have a Google form. So what I have planned is uh, after a bitsa gets over, I'll be putting out content on various skills. Uh, like I personally am interested in finance and machine learning, and a lot of my friends are interested in various fields. So we'll put out content in all those fields. So just fill out the Google form and let me know in what on fields you are interested after bitsa. And uh, also check the description. I have I have made a, a full uh, Google Doc which describes and which shares every information that I'll have in this video. Yeah, let's get straight into the video. Now, this is where uh, the interesting part begins, and you want to know that how to learn and all. So I'll be talking about uh, the tips and like how the paper is and stuff like. That. So yeah. So uh, I gave UGE last year, and I had a score of ninety nine point five, and I cleared the first round. I uh, I I didn't want a fire course. Uh, I didn't want to do masters. Uh, like I didn't want to take up a fire course, so I didn't give the interview seriously. But that's story for another day. So let's talk about super. So it consists of fifty questions, and it's a one-hour paper. And okay, so these this is where you will maximize your score, and this is where uh, you can increase your score drastically. And this paper affects your final score very much. Since this it does not have negative marking, you can take a lot of risk 
but the only problem is you have one hour to solve 50 questions Just try to be fast and the level of questions won't be that tough you can say it will be of bit chart level or less than that they it, this 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 section will have pcm questions obviously and you have some logical reasoning questions just try to maintain a good speed in this section along with along with a great accuracy and if you don't know an answer if you are not sure about anything just mark the answer uh, and and just just do a smart guess and then move on and uh, the time that you give here okay you can put that in reap because uh, if you guys have seen the sample paper and that's how the real paper is uh there would be two sections okay so when you submit the first part then uh, then uh, like the moment you submit the first part you can go back, go to the second part but you can't uh, come back to the first part and check that so yeah just but but if you save time there you can have some you can have some extra time in, in reap and reap is the paper in which your uh, final score depends on now reap it, it it is hard okay it is not that easy it is it is much hard com- harder compared to uh, j mains or with sad but okay it's not the as hard as j advanced so what makes a paper hard or easy it's just the level of understanding that you have the the so okay reap is uh, tries to uh, judge you on the basis of basis of your creative thinking and aptitude and do you and like triple it hyderabad is known for its its research oriented approach and research oriented teaching right so reap is meant exactly meant for that so it tries to uh, test you whether you have a research oriented mind or not so you you can expect some like a lot of uh, weird type of questions some some questions which you have haven't even like ever been uh, across while preparing for j advanced so it will have some graph questions it will have some harmonics it it it, it asks basically a, a a very different types of questions and it it tries to analyze you with like with if you have a research aptitude or not as i mentioned this this will actually test your ability to think uh, so th- even the logical questions okay even the logical questions won't be a simple series or some venn diagram questions it will give you a scenario it will give you a situation like for example i had a question on some saints and they were talking in some language and then you had to uh, it was it wasn't a, a simple logical question be one one hell of a ride okay you need to put in a lot of brain power and you need to think a lot in this section if you have a good concept of clarity of pcm i'm sure that you will be able to manage well if you uh, like yeah it 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 all depends on whether you are conceptually clear or not and uh, yeah so it, it it is a two hour paper and last year it had 66 questions and it has negative marking so if you are not understanding a question if you are getting the feeling get dekh ke ki yaar ye hone nahi wala hai and i won't be able to solve this question just leave off bro you don't need to like waste time on on these questions because these questions are not easy not easy yeah okay the level of paper and my experience i have already discussed the level of paper while explaining the papers but Okay, so I'll tell about my experience. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't actually study separately for UG before giving the exam. Uh, like one or two days before the exam, I okay, actually one week or one or two day, uh, like one week before the exam, uh, saw the sample papers. And while I was checking the sample papers, now it was it it is the same paper. And I tried to solve the paper. Okay, even so, like uh, in 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 super, uh, I was able to solve solve a lot of questions. And in reap, I was I was not able to do anything. So I I kind of left off. And I and I remember before one or two days before the exam, I was discussing with my other friend uh, who who is now in IIT Bombay. And we both were uh, trying to solve the reap paper. And then we both realized it's not not that easy. Uh, so then I went for the exam, and <laughs> and surprisingly that day uh, my reap paper was wasn't that. So like as I mentioned, I focused on the things that I knew. So for example, you will have some questions from your strong chapters, okay? And uh, if you are conceptually clear in that the, those chapters, you'll be able to solve any question. So. uh you'll be able to solve questions in reap if you are conceptually clear that way yeah so physics was good for me in reap and i th- maths was maths was pretty tough and chemistry was also pretty nice because uh they ask questions on physical chemistry and there are a lot of easy easy chapters in physical chemistry like mole concepts and stuff i as as far as i remember they, they didn't they didn't ask any any direct questions from inorganic chemistry and yeah i think yeah that's all and yeah <laughs> by the way that friend of mine he he got 85 and i think he he just missed the cut off by Five, like 
four or five marks. So <clears throat> he couldn't couldn't uh, like get selected in the first round. Okay, some last minute tips. As I told you guys that uh, if you are well prepared with J Advance and you are sure that you have some concepts clear, like absolutely crystal clear, you don't need to worry about. See, super is would be easy for everyone. If you are if you are studying for BitSat or J Advance, you will be easily able to do super. But Reap is where the paper tries to assess. your knowledge and assess your concept clarity so you need to be really sure about some concept for example if you have let's say around 20 topics which are your strong topics so just try to attempt those top those questions first and try hitting the two markers first because uh, even the one markers would be tough but two markers will give you more marks so just try thinking about the two markers first in brief and uh, yeah remember there is negative marking so just don't or to ka mat marna don't guess the answers and mark I think you'll be fine. Uske bina nothing much, and uh, don't worry if you are if you don't get selected. There are other ways in which you can get into Triple IIT Hyderabad if that's your dream. And uh, J means for the way the easiest. Hai. And also I'll be uh, like putting this doc uh, in the main description so you can check that out. And if you have any other any other queries, just comment down below. I'll I'll, I'll answer all of them. Don't worry. Saath mein karte hain. Forwarding. Bye.